that video, well, I'll put up a link so that you can go check it out. But this is the very basics of what it takes to run that motor for that car wash. And what I had was 120 volts feeding a 24 volt transformer. And this was actually back at the uh, control panel, which is computer controlled and it sent the uh, power out to the coil. So when the operator was standing back at the pedestal and, and basically closed that switch, what it did was it sent power to the coil. These two are the same, that coil, that coil. It sent that power out and we had our 24 volts between A1 and A2. The motor itself was a 2083 phase, which we've got there and it goes through a, a contactor. The contactor, I, I don't remember what it was, I'll have to look it up, but anyway, this is, this is just the basics of the wiring. And it went through, went into the contactor, when the coil closed, it energized the motor, and uh, went through the overloads, energized the motor, and the motor ran. I had it set up on a timer, which I'm putting that uh, wiring diagram together right after this video and I can come back and uh, show that to you as well. So anyway, that's th that's really how basic it is. Uh, you've got a control circuit here and the control circuit operates this contactor and once the, the power is energized to that coil, it closes, the motor comes on. It's, it's, it's that simple. So anyway, um, we'll see you on the next one. As always, thanks for watching.